John Cena is your favorite wrestler? John Cena rocks! John oh Cena God. rocks! Alright. Hey guys, it's Dave. And one. Hi. And today we have a WWE Funko Pop unboxing video. We have four WWE Funko Pops that I have here. We're going to unbox, and I'm kind of excited about it. I'm a huge WWE fan. Who's your favorite wrestler? Um, that would be John Cena. Anyway, so we'll start off first. Uh, a couple of these I found at a local FYE. One of them I got from, I think it was Hot Topic Online. And another one is a Walmart exclusive, so if you are up on your Funko stuff and you know who the Walmart exclusive is for WWE, you will know who's coming. But first we're going to start with uh, one of my favorite wrestlers of the 80s and 90s, Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah! The Macho Man was awesome. Macho Man was one of the best. He made Slim Jims. He didn't make Slim Jims, he was a spokesperson Step into for a Slim, slim Jim. Jim. Step into a Slim Jim! Slim Jims. Gross. So this is the Macho Man, that's pretty cool, he's got little glasses on, his bandana. Did they come off? No, they do not come off. Oh, yeah. You want to bring that up there? Sure. Oh, yeah. Leave me your best Macho Man moment. And also people say, oh, when he won the WWE title, or the WWF title back then, or when he got married to Elizabeth. There's I remember Elizabeth. the feud between Quiet. Macho Man and Jake the Snake Roberts, where Jake the Snake tied him up in the ropes and the snake bit him in the arm. One of the icons in the wrestling world. I like him more now in the last like 10 years or so than I did in the 80s and early 90s. I was never the biggest fan of his, uh, but I do like him now, and that is Hulk Hogan. And what you gonna do? What you gonna do, brother? What version of Hulk is it, though? It's Hulk Hogan. It's like the 80s There's Hulk Hogan. Oh, okay. They have, a, they have a black and white NWO Hogan. No, because then he used to wear the boa... Right? Well, that was later on. This is like 80s. So that's Hogan. That's the back of him. Pretty cool. Next up is the dead man himself, The Undertaker, who has made a return to face Brock Lesnar. But The Undertaker is one of the, the greatest. I've always loved The Undertaker. Oh, you know, give us two. Give us your favorite Hogan moment. My favorite Hogan moment is when he turned heel. And he joined the NWO back in the late 90s. The Dash at the Beach, WCW. Next up, oh man, The Undertaker's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool pop right there. The back of The Undertaker. My favorite moment of The Undertaker was the Hell in the Cell match with Mankind. Oh, yeah. You Is that when that? Mankind like, yeah. really hurt himself, right? When he threw him through the cage, off the cage, tom tacks. That was a great match. Do they ever make Foley pop? No. Oh, they should Hopefully make one so. of those. They should. They could have three of them. They could have Cactus Jack. Mick Foley. They would have Dude Love, like Mankind, Mick Foley. Mick Foley. He's like, when we met him, he was like a little... Like, the way he was walking? Yeah. His bad knees. He's I mean, hurt. Look at all know, the stuff he Hulk did. Hogan, too, had a lot of knee. You know, he has knee problems. They all have knee problems. It's a tough sport, and a lot of people say, oh, it's fake, it's fake. It's not fake. No, it's predetermined. It's predetermined. It's a predetermined still... sport. There's still athletes. I agree with um, you. All right, the next one I've got is a Walmart exclusive. The box is in not the greatest shape, but they only had two, and the other box was even worse. Yeah. Uh, but I found it corner of my eye right as I was leaving. It's the Walmart exclusive, WWE. It's Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is awesome. He is such a beast. I love the whole Brock Lesnar. Oh, he had. Even when he came up in the 2000s, he was awesome. I don't like him. I still remember. He did. I don't remember. My favorite Brock Lesnar moment, actually, is like his match with Kurt Angle at WrestleMania. I'm and he tried like to do the him. shoot and star press and almost broke his neck. At SummerSlam? He tried to do the flip. when they lift him like... No, he landed like literally like right here. At SummerSlam, remember Undertaker? This is awesome. I mean, he beat Undertaker. He, beat, he broke on really? Undertaker's streak. I don't yep. remember. <laughs> did I watch Slam? it? Yes, you did. Yeah, on SummerSlam? Yes. No, it was WrestleMania. Oh, SummerSlam's yeah. coming up. SummerSlam's coming up. Yeah, fighting. That's Brock. That's pretty good. They got all the tattoos. Look at his back. He has the tattoo. Yeah, he has the tattoo in the back. That's pretty cool. Fun. And again, guys, you know, below, I want to hear your comments. I, like I said, I'm a huge WWE fan. So yeah, so that's a pretty good haul. We got Hogan, Macho Man Randy Savage, Brock Lesnar, and Grab Undertaker there. That'd be a cool tag team. Like, 
Macho Man Hulk Hogan versus Brock Lesnar and The Undertaker. But they don't get along. Who would win? Oh, you know, well, I mean, Brock Lesnar and Undertaker would decimate these two. Hogan was a, you know, he had more charisma and, and his character was over. His wrestling was very limited. <laughs> Macho Man was really good. Macho Man had a, you know. Is Macho Man dead? Another great thing, Macho Man did die. He did yes, die. He, he had a heart he, attack, right? While he was driving. Crashed crash crash into a tree. I remember that. Another great moment of Macho Man Randy Savage's career is at WrestleMania 3 when he fought Ricky the Dragon Steamboat for the Intercontinental title. One of the best Intercontinental title matches ever. Go check that out if you haven't. Let us know what you thought. What, what are your favorite moments with these four? Or WWE in general? We're going to have more. I want to find. I want to try to finish this collection. I really want to find a CM Punk. Um, I know they're out there, but they've got to be super rare because I'm sure they're not making them anymore. I'd love to find a CM Punk. I would even like to find an AJ Lee uh, because she did retire. I'd like to find an AJ Lee before that's too too late. Uh, and then they have new ones coming out. New Bree and Nikki, a new Andre the Giant, uh, Ric Flair, a Target exclusive. Leave your comments below. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you liked the episode. And remember to subscribe to our channel. Remember to find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. At Everyday Geek TV. At Everyday Geek TV. Alright guys, adios. Bye. <laughs> What's that called? Is that a wrestling move? Yeah, it was like a headlock, and then I gave her a noogie.